Hello and thanks for joining me. Last time we heard from Vera Britton's diary about the last days of July and the first days of August 1914. This time we'll find out what war poet May Wedderburn Canaan was feeling and how she commented on in peacetime the English people never think of their army and the army commanders rarely think of how women can be used in war. However, like many of her gender at the time, May felt it was our war too. From the early part of the 20th century, women had been thinking of ways that they might be able to help the army in case of war, and the Voluntary Aid Detachment, known as the VADs, was one organisation to be formed. 20-year-old May was an administrator for the Oxford Detachment. By the 5th of August, she was busy mobilising members and, by the evening of the 6th of August, a volunteer hospital was equipped, arranged, scrubbed out and ready in Magdalen School, Oxford. May proudly added that this hospital of 60 beds had not cost the War Office or the tax taxpayer one penny piece. Unbeknownst to her, May's boyfriend Bevel, a special reservist in the army who had mobilised on the 5th of August, had not been able to get a few hours special leave to come to Oxford to propose to her. The young couple had to content themselves with the hope that they might meet at Christmas, by which time the war would supposedly be over. I have a feeling we might hear some of May's be beautiful poetry between now and the end of our journey through the Women's War, 1914 to 1918. Join me again next time.